it's not too dirty in here. Actually pretty clean. Don't know what's up with that. Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. Today is March 18th, and it is the first day back from spring break. I'm super excited to be back. Um, also, super not looking forward to the amount of work that I have to do this week, but I think it's gonna be fine. Um, if you guys didn't know, um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, I was sick with the flu uh, the week before spring break began. So I was here at school on Monday, sick as a dog. I took Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday off. So I had a four day substitute. And I'm pretty sure it was four different substitutes. So I am extremely surprised and shocked to see my room in such good condition. So I'm going to take some time to kind of wander around, check things out. Um, I didn't assign the substitute anything too, too pressing because I didn't, I don't really give substitutes like teaching materials, but more of like review or um, fun things. So I wanted to show you guys what I did have my students working on while I was gone. I did a novel study, which you might think, oh, that's funny, a novel study. Well, my, um, my uh, lovely teammate gifted me with these books called I Survived the Shark Attacks of 1916 and I also got a class set of Shark School. So what I had my students working on while I was gone was a novel study. So basically during reading and reading intervention they worked on reading the novel and it looks like most of them are not finished with it yet so that's great they can finish it in intervention um and i had this cute little packet from who made this i will have to find out i forget who made this but they had this packet and it was just a comprehension packet and so every day they read a certain amount of chapters and then they worked on the activities in the packet. And a lot of it was like making predictions, working with um, prefixes and synonyms. So some word work, some grammar. <clears throat> they also had to do some quick writes, um, find some figurative language ex um, examples, stuff with character setting. Um, reflecting on what they read just things like that this is the teacher one so and it looks like some of them are still working on it so this will be a great thing for them to finish during reading intervention but I just thought that a novel study ooh, I'm zoomed in here. Ooh. but I just figured a novel study would be something fun that they could do that isn't really super um, detailed on like common core standards so a substitute would easily be able to accommodate students with this and um, just act more as like a act more as a facilitator rather than a teacher so most of the time that I was gone my students were kind of working independently and then I also just assigned them a small chapter in my math which is our math curriculum and then I'm going to give my students an opportunity to read shark school um, when they're done with their I Survived because I have a novel study for that as well. Um, so it's just this from Stephanie Bozeljavak. Bozeljavak. I don't know how to pronounce that name. I'm so sorry. Um, but yes, and then I also bought this one, which is by Davy. No, I don't know who this one's by. But um, just some fun novel studies. I like to do novel studies at the end of the school year. I want to do more of them during the school year next year, during uh, small groups and guided reading. I think that would be more fun. But um, I like to do them at the end of the year because in the midst of all of the testing review, it's nice to have a book for them to all be reading the same one where they can, you know, read for fun and see that, oh, 
I could finish a book from start to finish. So anyway, that is what I had my substitute doing. I'm gonna look through here, which is pretty much everything that they left for me. Just kind of see where they're at. And then we have a field trip tomorrow, so I think we're gonna spend the day kind of like reflecting, reviewing expectations, talking about what's coming up. And then um, we have a sub, or no, sorry, we have a field trip tomorrow pretty much the entire morning, which will take up a lot of instruction time. Starting this week on Wednesday and pushing all through next week, we are going to be doing AZ Merit test prep because we start AZ Merit the first week in April, which I think is two weeks away. So, very important. <laughs> but like I said, I am super proud of the way my classroom looks after being gone for four straight days and then having a spring break. Uh, it looks like the kids did pretty good taking care of the room. Um, I know that I did get a comment from my teammate about some kind of confusion that they had with math review. I'm not really sure what happened there, but they survived. It'll be fine. I also have grades due this week. So my grade book is pretty much up to date. All I have to do is put in the report card. Sorry, I'm trying to find my computer cord because my computer's dead. Um, all I have to do is actually fill in the report card matrix, which can take like a minute per student, so it should take me like less than an hour to do. But I'm going to run up front because I know I have some book orders waiting in the office for me and I'm sure I have a ton of stuff in my mailbox. And um, yeah, and I'm going to get the day started. So welcome back from spring break, guys. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. It's Tuesday morning. Um, March 19th. Today we have a field trip planned for the morning. So I am spending the day because I'm pretty much prepped for the rest of the week. I'm going to spend today cleaning my room. It's pretty much clean. I kind of spent a little bit of time yesterday <coughs> cleaning it, but we have an A plus School of Excellence visit tomorrow. Um, our school has applied to be a an A plus school of excellence. And so we have our visit tomorrow and Thursday. So I wanna just make sure that my room is clean and just, you know, looking its best. Um, it doesn't look too, too bad in here. I would like to take these down and do some sort of like spring art activity, but the problem is is that they need to be done before tomorrow morning. So I'm thinking they can do that like during intervention. I also want to update my anchor charts and take that one down because it's totally not supposed to be there. Um, and then I also have some vocabulary words that I want to hang up. So I want to um, update these with what we're actually doing in class. And then today when we get back from the field trip, I'm gonna have the kids clean these. So right now we're using the cubbies kind of as like storage. Um, basically a lot of my kids have like extra supplies that they wanna use, which is totally fine, but it junks up their desk. So our whole thing is if you have stuff in your desk that is junking it up that you don't use all the time, put it in your book bin in your cubby. And then if you need to use it, you can go pull your book bin and use it. So I think that that might be what I might use the book bins for next year um, because I'm not probably not going to do flexible seating next year. I don't know yet. I might pull some of my tables from storage and ditch some desks but keep the chairs. Like I'll pull the two taller tables and um, just keep the chairs there. And then students who need a desk or want a desk could do that. Um, I'm not sure. So anyway, I'm going to spend the morning cleaning up my room. And um, then we have a field trip today, so not a whole lot going on. Um, yeah. Good morning, guys. It's Wednesday morning. Um, I'm not going to vlog today, but I wanted to close this vlog out. Um, we have our A-plus visit today, and so we are all kind of running around cuckoo. My room is clean. It's ready to go and uh, the day is gonna be great. Hopefully my kids will behave because the last two days they have been crazy. Um, so my fingers are crossed. Um, but yeah, we're gonna have a great day and I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.